Hello artists, today we're going to make something called a self-portrait and what that means is you're making a picture of yourself. But we're doing the cartoon version or the Todd Parr version of you. Just like in the book, it's okay to be different. You will have a messy mat and a white piece of paper and it needs to go up and down on your messy mat in portrait view. I would like you to write your name and flip it over. We're getting out our bingo daubers for this. To open, we twist the cap. We're going to set it down on your messy mat. And to make sure it is working, you're going to turn it upside down and gently tap the messy mat. Okay, gently is the magic word here. Please remember with these bottles, there's one really big rule. Never ever squeeze them. You just gently press down and color will come out. If it doesn't come out right away, tap it a little bit more. Okay, I've got a cheat sheet here to help you out with drawing your Todd Parr person. And this is kind of a mix and match sheet. You're looking for features on here that look kind of like you. Now, all of Todd's people have round heads. So we're going to take that bingo dauber and on your page, make a big circle. Notice my circle is not quite touching the edges, but it is very large. We don't want a teeny tiny head. Then think about what does your hair look like? Do any of these people have hair that looks kind of like yours? And you can always change things. So I have kind of wavy hair. So I am adding wavy hair to my person. And I'm not worrying about a neck or shoulders. We're just doing the head. Now all of Todd Parr's people had dots for eyes. So I'm making dots for my eyes. Then think about, do you have glasses or no glasses? I have glasses. All right, Todd Parr's people usually did not have noses. We don't have to worry about that. And usually they didn't have eyebrows either. So we don't have to worry about eyebrows. And think about your smile. Do you want it so it's a little smile and your lips are closed? Do you want it so your mouth is wide open and you're showing the teeth that you lost two weeks ago? <laughs> or maybe it's a smile like this one. So think about how do you want your face to be? And in the extra space, you can add one thing that tells me something about you. Like, I am an art teacher. I like art. So I, up here, am going to add a paintbrush. Then this needs to dry. We're going to put the cap back on your bingo dauber. This needs to dry, and then next time we come, we'll do some painting on your person.